Hey there, hope you're having a wonderful day. In this video, we're going to go over another object-oriented programming concept called association. So association describes relationships between classes, and under association, we have aggregation and composition. So in the previous video, we went over composition, which implies a relationship where a class cannot exist independently of another class. With aggregation, a class can exist independently of another class. So association differs from inheritance in that, let's say you have class A inherit class B, then you would say class A is class B. Whereas with association, you have composition where class A owns class B, since class B cannot exist independently from class A. And then we have aggregation, where class A has class B. So with aggregation, class A and class B can exist independently of each other, but they have a relationship. So class A has class B. So we're going to go over aggregation. And for this example, let's say we have a warrior class and in the constructor, we have a health and we have a weapon. And by default, we set it to none. And I have an attack method. So it will print out slash with a sword. So if I create a warrior object and I call the attack method, let's save and run the program. And you can see the warrior slash with a sword. Now, technically, a warrior cannot attack unless the warrior has a weapon. In this case, the warrior needs a sword. So throughout this tutorial series, where we use video game characters, we've been assigning the weapon using a string. So I could assign self the weapon to a string sword, but alternatively, I can create another class to represent the sword. So here you would say that the warrior has a sword. So let's create a sword class. So class sword, and I'll create a constructor. And in the constructor, I can add various attributes. For example, I can add a level requirement. I can also add an attack power, maybe attack speed. But to keep this tutorial simple, I'm going to just do self.category and set it to warrior. So this category means only a warrior can use a sword. So instead of directly adding the weapon here, I'm going to add a method called equip. And it's going to take in a weapon. And here I'm going to make a check. If is instance, self and weapon dot category. So self refers to this warrior class. So if self is an instance of weapon dot category, which is warrior, then we can equip the weapon. So self dot weapon will assign it weapon. Else I will print cannot equip this weapon. And here I'll just print equipped weapon. Now when the warrior attacks, we need to make a check if is instance self dot weapon is an instance of sword, then we can use the sword. Else I would do print attack with a punch. So if the warrior does not have a sword, then the warrior will just punch the enemy. All right, if I save and run the program, you can see the warrior has no weapon. So the warrior attacked with a punch. Now what I can do is I can create a sword object and as you can see, I have a separate sword object and a separate warrior object, and I can do warrior.equip sword, and then warrior.attack. So basically, I've created a sword object that is independent from warrior, and this warrior is independent from this sword. But there is a relationship in that warrior has a sword, because the warrior can equip the sword. So if I save and run the program, you can see the warrior attacked with a punch, and then we equip the weapon, and then the warrior slashed with the sword. And the idea here with aggregation is if I do sword and set it to none or warrior and set it to none, if I did sword and set it to none, this warrior object would still exist. If I did the opposite and set warrior to none, this sword object would still exist. So they can exist independently of each other. And this would make sense in a game. Let's say you defeat an enemy. The enemy can drop the sword on the ground and the warrior can pick up that sword. Now, just to create another example, I can create another weapon, bow, and I'll do init self, and I'll set the category to archer. So only an archer can use a bow, and here I'll just create an archer class, and I'll just do pass. So I can create a bow here, and then I can do warrior.equip bow. So if the warrior tries to equip the bow, 
You can see we make a check and the weapon category for bow is archer. Therefore, we expect this to get printed out. All right, so let's save and run the program. So you can see the warrior attacked with a punch. Then the warrior tries to equip the bow, but we get cannot equip this weapon because only archers can have bows. And then we equip a sword. And in this case, the warrior can equip a sword. And with the sword, the warrior attacks again and slash with the sword. All right, so that is the idea of association where we have relationships between classes. And in this case, we have aggregation. So these weapons can exist independently from this warrior, but there is a relationship between this warrior and the sword. So the warrior has a sword. And of course, I can create another method called unequip and just remove the weapon from the warrior. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure you give this video a like. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. And if you want to stay up to date for more Python coding tutorials like this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.